Hello there, my name's Heidi Sawyer. I'm a Hay House author and presenter and one of the three intuitive messengers and the up and coming Hay House event. Now what I want to do is help to take you through some of the understandings of what it is to recognise whether you are highly intuitive and what the sensitive's journey is. Now for you to be interested in your intuitive side, you will be what is termed as a sensitive. Now what it means to be a sensitive is that you have naturally a, a more alert nervous system. Now this is said to affect up to a certain portion of the population. And for you to be interested, most certainly in the mind and body aspects of how things work, um, your intuitive senses, and also to discover some aspects of your spirituality and your development and how, how you um, tackle life moving forward, then it's highly likely that you're a sensitive. So in this short video, I'm going to give you a few pieces of information on how to recognize some aspects of whether you are a highly sensitive person in terms of your intuitive senses and whether in actual fact, what this up and coming workshop is going to do for you and whether it's something that's appropriate uh, for, you, for you to learn from. So some of the things that you might recognize as a sensitive is that you've perhaps had deeply intuitive experiences that some of those may have uh, been there since childhood, come up for you um, where you've known about other people's thoughts and feelings, their lives, and you've not really known how you've known about it. Perhaps it's been a bit sporadic. Perhaps it was there early in your life and then it's sort of disappeared for a while and now it's kind of come back in. Perhaps you've always been highly aware of other people's thoughts and emotions. Um, sensitive people pick up on the thoughts and feelings of other people. They're also very attracted to the healing arts, things like um, healing, Reiki, uh, the idea of angels, all, this, uh, all these kinds of things that are very much lead towards um, perhaps a deeper understanding of themselves or their environment or how other people work. You may have found that you are, as a sensitive, somebody who's always been very alert, okay? Because sensitives really know, for instance, where the exit is in any given situation. So you, you always know the way out of something, um, how, to, how to figure what's next, um, how to understand what's next, and you're often ahead of everybody else so you figured something quite often before it, and it's even sunk in as far as others are concerned so perhaps in your family you're the early warning system perhaps you're the person who who knows things before others really kind of figure it out and maybe at times you've been a little bit punished for that uh, because people don't necessarily understand how you pick up on this information, how you know these things before it seems that anyone else does. You may find that as a sensitive, you like your own company. You're somebody who likes to uh, regenerate, that you, you need a little bit of space at times in order to uh, to reassess and and to find that sort of sense of balance within yourself. Sensitive people do tend to find that that happens. You may find that you become easily overwhelmed in certain situations. So you like to um, withdraw in order to uh, recuperate, okay? And you may find that you are very drawn towards helping people and certainly in terms of understanding them. Now, how to recognize some of the aspects of this sensitivity where your intuition is opening up is something that's a little bit later. It's things that follow on. So in understanding yourself as a sensitive can mean that you are more drawn to the healing arts or you find yourself steered in the direction of understanding your intuitive senses. Sometimes how it works is that you um, want to understand your healing side first and then find yourself deeply drawn towards your intuitive abilities and your um, deeper psychic senses. Okay, so some of these are the opening signs, what I'm about to show you. Some of these are the opening signs and understanding your intuitive 
and psychic ability. Now, how do you know if you have a gift? How do you know if you have any ability? How do you know if you're going to be wasting your time? Well, these are some of the opening signs for you to ascertain whether you would be, or these are some of the things that you're, if you don't have, you're then perhaps think, okay, maybe I'm just a sensitive individual in terms of understanding my healing abilities and I don't necessarily want to move into the intuitive side. So, some of the opening signs. You will find that as a developing intuitive, you will find that in your world there is an increase in coincidence. That maybe um, you've got into a pattern now of thinking, there is no such thing as coincidence because it all seems to um, happen a little bit too often for me. Uh, certainly one of the opening signs is that you will find that there is an increase in coincidence, things happening, happening at the right time, that you happen to be in the right place at the right time, um, or the right place to, to pick up certain information that you've maybe been, maybe been thinking, may have been thinking about for some time and suddenly it sort of pops up right in front of you. You may have found that you've seen things out of the corner of your eye, you've looked around and suddenly you think, well, what, what was that? Dreaming events before they happen, this is a very common opening sign for an intuitive, which means that you're opening up to certain um, different vibrations and energies uh, before they become physically manifest in the everyday world. So that tends to happen through the dream state first, so it's quite common for intuitives to really start to pick up on things before they manifest in the physical world and pick those up in a dream state. You may even find that strangers tell you their life story. You may be minding your own business on a, on a train or something and then the person sat next to you suddenly says, oh, what is that and the other, and they need to tell you about the ins and outs of their lives. And you think, whoa, where did that come from? What is it about me? Why do I seem to attract that? It's something that happens for people who are deeply intuitive. You may have found that you've become more sensitive to noise, that you've perhaps um, grown into liking things to be very quiet, whereas previously you liked the radio on, to suddenly find that you like it quiet and that you need periods of time during your day where you, things are quite silent uh, and it feels quite easy on you and it's something that you, you, that you require, um, it's not just a preference. You may also find that you're drawn to certain colours. This is what I would call the um, pink and purple phase. You may find that you go through an experience of being drawn to anything that's pink or lilac or white. Now this is a very common aspect of the opening stages of knowing whether you're deeply intuitive. The reason for it, the reason for being drawn to these colours uh, is specific to uh, an intuitive type. That's something that I haven't got time to go through now, um, but it's obviously something that we will cover on the workshop of intuitive messengers. What you have as part of this workshop, intuitive messengers, is three highly experienced intuitives who operate in slightly different ways. So if you're wondering, you know, how do I know whether it's all going to make sense to me, you've got three people to choose from. Okay, you've got three people where at least one of us is going to resonate with how you operate and how you want to work. You've got three different opportunities to really allow for your intuitive senses to really start to come forward and one of us or all three of us are really going to start to, to, to encourage that part of you forward in a way that you will understand. So rather than you having to go to three separate events to experience three separate people, you're actually able to experience all of us in the same day. What you will find is that you're able to gain as much knowledge as you possibly can from books, okay? But there comes a point where you then have to see if you can implement these things on a practical level, on a practical level of your understanding, to really begin to understand what it means to use your deeper senses, your sixth sense in your everyday life. Now, in these 
crucial times, you will find that your deeper senses are something that's really important. It's something that helps you through life to help guide you and to help, help you feel more comfortable and safe with understanding your world and the decisions that you should make. Now the three of us, myself, Heidi Sawyer, who you may have seen before or you may not have seen me before, obviously I will be um, there and speaking much more on you understanding yourself as a sensitive, what it means to be one, and also how to develop um, your intuitive senses. You've got David Wells, the, you know, the very well-known astrologer and past life therapist. He will be showing you how to um, contact your guides, your teachers, to understand aspects of your, your psychic awareness and ways to further develop your psychic ability. You've got Gordon Smith, the very well-known psychic medium. He will really be able to show you as to whether you are somebody who has a mediumship type of ability and one that perhaps you want to embrace and develop. How to really discover your mediumship abilities. Now he is highly skilled within this area and you couldn't possibly learn about your mediumship abilities from anyone better. He is somebody who will really be able to encourage that part in you and help you to develop an accuracy if you really do feel drawn towards that particular area of your development. If you want to know a little bit more about me then I encourage you to have a look on uh, my website, give you a little bit more information because it may well be that you know David Wells really quite well, you know Gordon Smith really quite well and you don't necessarily know me. So have a, have a little look, discover a little bit more about about how I work. I've been working within this field for a long time now, teaching people uh, how to discover their psychic abilities. All three of us very much look forward to seeing you at Intuitive Messengers. So if you haven't got your ticket now, absolutely encourage you to click through to the link and we look forward to seeing you on the 15th of October. Thank you.